So in order to create a website for yourself, HTML and CSS should be your best friends. HTML are the lines of boring looking words which displays in your web browser and CSS for the fancy styling. Just think of HTML being a rendered concrete block wall without paint. Blah! Then apply the paint afterwards which is your CSS. I think you got the general idea of what I'm trying to explain here. And in today's video, I'll be creating a website with no experience. So recently, I had an assessment to complete which is an important asset towards doing an exam. Without it, exam disqualification will not pass you and that's a really bad idea if you want to sit that exam. So my task was to summarize this document which is an assessment from the previous year. After summarizing, I should implement a software solution for the stated problem, either by implementing a website or a database. And I've never dipped my toes in creating a website before so I chose to implement a website to solve the gruesome problem, not because it's simple or anything. Come on. So what's a website? A website is a collection of web pages and related content that is identified by a common domain name and so basically a website is a combination of two or more web pages with HTML being the backbone of it all. And as you might know, I'm really dumb and have no idea of what I'm doing. But with the help from my teacher, I was given some documents which explains the basics of HTML. After reading the documents, I launched Notepad where I'll be writing the HTML code. Yeah, HTML code can be written using Notepad. Instructions were, create a new text document, open the newly created file with Notepad, hit save as, name the document to whatever you want, but make sure to add the HTML extension. Hit save and you should see the file on your desktop with your default web browser icon which indicates that the HTML file is created. If you should type something in the file, then open it in your web browser, you should see the text you wrote there. Hit like now if you think that was a great discovery. Anyways, I started off by creating a title for the web page using the title tag. And if you don't know what that is, well, I have no idea either. Kidding, it is this bar thing here. Next I open and close a body tag and wrote some text in between and it should display like this. I open some paragraph tags which separates your lines with paragraph spacing. Afterwards I started to play around with some headings with h1 being the largest and h6 being the smallest. I managed to change the background color of the page along with the text. I also play around with underlining and bowling along with changing their fonts. At this point, using Notepad was getting a bit tedious, so I switched over to Visual Studio where things are much easier to look at. During that time, I added listing and created a table. Now I think I'm an expert in web development, so let's put my knowledge to the test by implementing an online shoe store as instructed. But we have one tiny problem. To implement an online shoe store, we would need some assets to display. So I hit up my friend Google for some images and we are now ready to start making our store. As usual, we start off by creating a title for the website. I think I'm gonna call it My Shoes as instructed by my teacher. And because I should follow instructions, I'm gonna psych. You think you can tell me what to do and name my website whatever you want then get away with it? Hell no! And just like that, I was on my own to finish the website myself. And that's not really a problem because I always have good old Google to assist me. Oh shit. I renamed the website My Shoe Palace before I wrote a short description of the store. In order to add images, we would need images and luckily, we have gotten some from Google. However, I can assure you that I don't know how to do that properly. So, this is the SRC or source attribute. It's used to specify the URL of the image. And by watching a tutorial, I think I made the image a bit too large. I shrunk the image but it wasn't square enough. I changed the image to a GIF instead and it's now prettier to look at. The pen was trying to center the GIF so I work around the workaround by just placing the image tag inside the paragraph tag. I try to give a little space in between the text and the image but somehow this method seems to not be working. But eventually I pass on and I implemented a table again. But this time it displays all the different shoes and their prices, with the Nike Air Force being the cheapest. Like come on, who wears Air Force these days? Blah. I also gave the table an heading along with changing the background color of the page to some color I seems to not recognize. At this point I realized to myself that I can do better, so I added a header at the very top corner of the page with a little motor like description. Edited the table border so that the table looks thick. 
along with editing the store description and added a footer. I tend to enjoy seeing the little copyright thingy at the bottom of a website. Anyways, I created a CSS file which will handle all the styling of the web pages because using CSS as an attribute can really get annoying. Nav bars are cool and all, so why not add one? But I also changed the header and added a logo. Why is my logo is a stone? Well, I glad you asked, cause I have no idea why my logo is a stone. Oh, and you're wondering why the page is empty? I commented all the other text and will add them to another page. Thus, this is an index page I'm creating here. Anyways, I- Oh, turn it off. They're not supposed to see that. Shit! So pretend you didn't see that because I don't know why there's a p- Anyways, I added a video clip from one of my videos and the audio clip which is a song. But for copyright reasons, I can't play that song for you to hear. In addition to that, I added a stylized footer. Next, I created a new HTML file and call it homepage. I did the same thing as previous but I added the descriptions and the top selling shoes on the store using images. Afterwards, I linked the two pages so now you can switch between pages from the header of the page and also made the home in the nav section works. Afterwards, I implemented a store page but it doesn't actually add your orders to a cart. Come on, this is a newbie you're looking at here. Don't judge me, please. Lastly, I linked all the necessary pages and my learning journey is now complete. <laughs> sort of. What a nice little website made by an absolute lunatic. Hit that like button now if you think that amaze you. So with all the knowledge gained, I implemented the website for my internal assessment with a sign up page, login page, store page, contact page, and a footer to show that this website is copyrighted under my supervision, so don't try steal. Basically, this website is about an online store which sells bottled water, mainly inspired to help the boys of my community to stay hydrated as stated in my document. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash subscribe now and check out the other vids on my channel. I promise you, they are cool. Just, just maybe they are. Because I don't understand why they have such little views on them and I spend so much time and effort on them. Join my discord if you haven't already. Otherwise, see you in the next one, kiddo.